moving forward, we will be starting back up on the house. We're going to be buying our doors, and once we have our doors, we can we know we'll know our exact rough openings, and then we can begin building what are called toe ups. And toe ups are nothing more than a small platform for the straw bales to sit on so that in case of a flood inside the house, the bales themselves shouldn't get wet or have less of a chance of getting wet. Good morning guys. It's day two of toe-ups. Yesterday we started building the toe-ups for our straw bale house foundation. So this also determines the layout of the house in with regards to the openings for doors on either side. For example, back here you can see that we have a rough opening of 72 inches for our uh, French doors that we're going to be putting on the back of the house. Those will face the mountains off to the east. The toe ups, these uh, two by fours are 14 inches apart, outside edge to outside edge. And I've just got them tacked down with a single screw on either end right now. I'll go back and uh, secure them more permanently once I'm done with the layout. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish the layout of the 2x4s uh, here on the west side. I have to determine the location of our front door. The rough opening for the front door is going to be 41 and a half, which is actually 38 and a half for the rough opening for the door jam itself and an additional uh, 3 inches for the bucking which will be made out of a uh, two by material, which is a one and a half inch thickness. So after I'm done determining that, I'll come back and I'll make little cross members and insert those every two or three feet or so, just for additional stability of that first course of straw. Uh, when you look carefully at the Two by fours, you'll see that I have used a router with a straight bit 
and I've routed in channels. These channels will accept the webbing, which will be coming through, going up and over the bales, and then will be secured uh, just like we did with our solar, solar shed as well as our straw bale tool shed. So I've put those every two feet, and that is not necessarily the location of each strap, but it'll give us a lot of options for strapping. But we're getting there. As soon as these are done, we're going to be able to uh, place our order for our straw, get about 200 bales delivered, and then get rolling. Now, if these toe-ups were on a foundation that was ground level, typically you would fill this channel with a gravel to create what's called a capillary break to prevent water from coming through. Because we're off the ground as high as we are, I'm not concerned with that. Uh, I'll be using a sealant to seal between the, the 2x4 and the platform itself just to prevent any water from wicking in. So this is the west side of the house and this is where our front door is going to be located. It's going to be 36 inches wide and we talked about it last night and decided that a door without a window would be a better choice. We're going to be getting a fiberglass door that is Energy Star rated Doors with windows did not meet the Energy Star rating for our region of the United States. And this being the western wall, and it will be hit with some sunshine in the afternoon, uh, we wanted to make sure that we were as energy efficient as possible. You know, I've always wanted a router, and I never thought that I would own a router from Harbor Freight. I had always had high aspirations of a Bosch router or a Makita or a Hitachi router, but I just couldn't justify spending $200 at this point in time on a router when we have so many other expenses uh, coming in, like doors and windows. So I went to Harbor Freight, and this router here is a one and a half horsepower quarter inch shank plunge router, and it was $74. With coupon, it was $60. Um, there were a couple good reviews of it uh, on YouTube, and I thought I'd give a chance. You know, I always wanted a half inch shank. I always wanted a plunge and fixed router com combination, but this is really doing the job. I'm, I'm impressed with it. I don't have much to compare it with. I have nothing to compare it with. It's my first router. But, you know, it, it does what I need it to do. It makes a nice uh, 3 8 inch channel here for our webbing for when we go to strap down the bales. And, you know, it's uh, it was 60 bucks. What can I say? Now that these last toe-ups have been screwed into the deck, both door openings have been established on the west side as well as the east side. And now what I'm going to do is go along here and put in short pieces of 2x4 as cross members to make sure that the bales are very stable on that first course. Okay guys, the toe-ups are done. We're back at it with the straw bale house. The next step is going to be to get our bales and start stacking our bales. I also have bucks to make for the doors. 
Once the windows arrive, I'll be able to start building buckings for the windows as well. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment box below, and we're really excited to continue working on this. Uh, parallel to the straw bale house, we also will be working on some earthworks to help mitigate or prevent any kind of future flooding on the property. This coming weekend, I'm picking up a skid steer and we're gonna start with some heavy machinery. Thanks again, guys. We'll catch you in the next video.